Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install your WordPress on your abandoned account. Before start, make sure to subscribe on this channel to get update and new and feel free to contact me if you have any problem or need more tutorials like this and or any tutorial you want, maybe I can help you. Uh, the first thing we start about requirement, you need a, up and, a, a panel installed on your VPS hosting and you need a domain name. Firstly, this is a, a panel here, you can see and here on my uh, Cloudflare account, there is a lot of domains we have here. So firstly, let's use this domain here, toptime, toptimetop.com. It's one of my domains and here there is a domain for me and uh, I mean, uh, I'm the owner of this domain and there is a domain from some of my clients. So let's go. Uh, firstly, you, ha you need to have a, a panel installed on your VPS and you go to this website uh, under here, websites section, you click on it. You can see that I have a lot of websites for me and for my clients also. So uh, the first thing you need to go to your DNS provider for the domain. For example, let's use this domain here, toptime.com and let's click on it. And after that, the page loading, we click on DNS. After clicking on the DNS, we need to create an A record like this, an A record named toptimetop.com, or you can remove the name and left uh, and use just this symbol like this. That's all. And put your IP address, you will see in your uh, panel here. You put the IP here and you make it, for example, the TTL time. You make it two minutes or more, it's up to you. And you click save. I early did this, so I don't need to do that. And after that, you need to make uh, the WW uh, options. It's depend from DNS to others. I mean, from a DNS provider like Cloudflare or GoDaddy or others, it's, it's some, some changes we have here. So you create a name for this. Uh, www and point it to the same IP like this on Cloudflare. If you are using another provider, you can go with it. Uh, I mean, they provide the documentation. You can use their documentation. For now, we are using the Cloudflare DNS provider. So let's start. Uh, uh, firstly, we put this domain here. I mean, we, uh, we put this domain to the IP and let's go here to the the app panel section and click on website and click add here we make our uh, our domain time top dot com for example and let's submit it like this after we have we get the the connection of the domain we will see here and that is a folder created here and then we are using the the latest php it's up to you if you use another php uh, version let's just we install the the ssl section here to get free ssl uh, provider let's click on ssl and after that we click select all here and we apply for this ssl uh, ssl certificate after we wait some time we will get a response for that and we will get a free ssl to be installed on our well, our prov uh, our uh, app and then here let's uh, we down with this ssl just we refresh the page for example we will get that the ssl down here can you see that the ssl is installed with success let's go to our domain here section top time dot we will go we see that granulation our website is working fine and we and we get the the ssl connection here security and the certificate are valid from let's encrypt so the next type the next uh, uh, thing that we do is we go into wordpress uh, wordpress download wordpress download download the latest version we go with the first link here and we get for example this version here we copy the link and we go to our our website uh, our uh, panel here we just click on, on the the folder the folder that we have here uh correspond to this 
domain just click on it we can use this remote control after removing this files here I will remove it of course like this and we go to here and we just pay the, paste the link of the, the uh, panel we confirm that after that it's download automatically the, the files then we extract file here we clicking by clicking on unzip file and we submit in this after a moment we will get the wordpress files here just we copy all of them or cut them we go to the section here of the the content of this domain and we paste click here paste after that when we go to our website here we it's it must be changed to our wordpress login here we can go with english and let's remove this after that we need to put the database etc and the password the username of the pass database and the hosting we click let's go and after that we need to go to a panel here and we create database i have here a lot of databases let's create a new one let's name it for example top time top pay uh, top time data for example and before submit it we just copy the username and the password directly here the database name we paste it the username is the same what is it it's the same yes it's the same and we copy the password here and the host is usually the lo local host so we keep it as it is this table prof prefix if you are using a multiple database uh, multiple database in, i mean a multiple softwares in the same database you can change it as uh, as you want but for now we keep it like it is we back here to uh, up under and we click submit after that we created the database let's go here and submit the database we see that we get the success message all right value we made it you know this part for installation we click run the installation after that our installation is down we just make sure to get everything to time to time for example and we make the username for example top time uh, top time top we save this password in the right place we just copy it like this i put it here for example to log in after a moment we put your email for example we put admin at top time top.com for example if you want to make this uh, happen for you for example i mean a uh, business email you can contact me i have uh, i can make a, a soft um, a tutorial how to make this and after that let's click install it after a moment we done with the installation we just will log into our wordpress after that we just click login and we have here i think the username it is top time and the password is this one here we just paste it and we click login <laughs> uh, let's use the email I, I don't remember the the uh, the username just created the, uh, last time it's um, let's use the, the the email here admin top time top dot com and we log in i think we get success we have installed the latest version of wordpress on our uh, panel section you have the menu here you can post any articles from have we have this hello world to view this uh, this uh, uh, this uh, what is it this post we can see hello world on the wordpress and on our wordpress website uh, we done with this tutorial thank you for watching if you need any help if you need anything you can message me maybe i can help you uh, hosting your websites or anything if you have any question i can reply just leave a comment in the comment section of youtube channel or in other uh, on other uh, platform that i have uh, work on so thank you for the this tutorial see you in the next tutorial